says, hey, all of these funny little options, I am going to suck them up. I'm going to get percent, and I'm going to cheat. And oh my god, does Nesh cheat. Game one, Pelka gacked. Let's get it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the okay. potential gacked. <laughs> so what was the fun what's the funny thing about gacked is, is he, and I didn't really expect this, but he's a grinder. Like, this man came from, came to the U.S. feeling good on Tuesday. Oh. The day after he arrived, he's like, I want to play. So he went to Kingdom, he went to Xeno, he went to the Breakpoint, the pre-local, and now he's here getting ready to go. Taking the free stock in Azuya to death fashion as well. Thank you, Magnet, yet again. <laughs> he goes through the Falling Foyer and he gets, doesn't get the F-Tilt as anticipated. Ising Magnet, such a good option out of PK Fire, so, so, so consistent as well. He has a massive lead that Pelka now has to fight back for. Yeah. Going for the, oh, what is potentially a, a suspect angle, but it looked like Pelka was not expecting it. Getting, looking for the turnaround, uh, sticky with the C4, but Gak's movement is too incredible. Just shielding when he needs to, but otherwise looking for Magnet and looking for Ness's insanely huge aerials to play defense for him. Oh yeah, and he's gonna find that up smash out of the PK file as well. Such a potent way to cover that because PK file tends to push people out, especially if it's not the sweet spot. And up smash says, "Hey, I'm gonna put this behind you, PK file in front of you." And now Gak has a three to one stock lead. He's sucking up the grenades. You see why I say Ness is a bit of a cheater in this matchup, no? It's like, hey, all of this like ledge trapping and trading that you do, um, with the exception of C4 because that's physical property. Uh, the grenades. Yum. Oh, C42. I mean, not just the explosion of it, but the not explosion. the actual. Yeah, not the hit. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, but grenades, delicious. The Kita, scrumptious. Like, everything that serves to uh, enhance Pelka's game plan, enhance what Snake wants to do, just kind of gets shut oh, down. Oh, there it is. There it is. I have been talking about this for a long time. This is my favorite thing to do as Ness. So. Let's say you're fighting a big body. Let's say you're fighting a heavyweight, as Snake might be. This is one of the most powerful things that you can do to catch people jumping back onto the stage. So I'd love to get a replay on that last stock as soon as we are able. Also, Ness just bullies high recoveries to no end. So this is tough, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. Most people are like, okay, I don't want to go to ledge. I want to avoid yo-yo at all costs, right? And you're like, oh man, so I'm truly, I'm at 64%. There is no possible way that I can die here. But this is so funny because Ness's tail hit of PK Thunder is a transcendent trampling hitbox. Meaning there is nothing that you can do to effectively clank with it. It's going to be able to get past that and then it can confirm into itself, especially on heavyweights. Ness is a cheater and I am here for it. Game two, gacked Pelka and he is continuing to play. Mid tier, by the way. Yeah, he's mid uh, He's just really good at smash literally, up. Literally false. <laughs> <laughs> but I absolutely agree in the fact that he is insanely good in this matchup. It is one of the one of the harder ones that it feels like Snake players have been constantly trying to innovate with, which is where which has led to like some pretty insane discoveries for Snake, like the utility of down tilt, the flexibility of down smash, as we just saw. How good Nikita can be at stuffing any recovery is something that has oh, yeah. been known, but it's it, it's a forced snake into enhancing his game state and his metagame because there's you can't do the same thing in every matchup and Ness is a perfect example of that. But this is such a different opening. Palco quickly established a lead for himself and Gact is looking for any way to kept, keep up the struggle. He comes back in, back in with that delayed back in and just waiting, waiting, sitting in shield, dashing, 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 shielding. Both of them are playing neutral. Yeah, this is some um, neutral, and check out that grab range from Snake. Pelka in such a domineering position can constantly play the, uh, the, the dash back game, which is so good when you have burst options like Snake dash attack, when you have range on things like down tilt. Oh, I, wanted to, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that was a bait, but the spot dodge up smash closes out the stock. You think you can Gak. punish that? You are slightly mistaken, my friend. Uh, that is one of the most ambiguous moves in the game. And that dash attack, good DI out there because sometimes it can't confirm into up air on heavyweights. Tries to come back in with the falling up air into the up tilt. Catches the landing, but that is not the sweet spot of PK Fire. That, however, the double jump cancel PK Fire, so much more plus on hit. Oh, gets him with the command grab. Sticky gets the down throw as well, trying to get a regrab, but the grab lockout timer comes in there. Didn't even need it. He didn't nope. even need the C4 whatsoever. One quick little up tilt is going to send Gact to the top blast zone. And the grenade actually going to be keeping Pelka nice and safe. Shout out to, uh, to Christmas because he, this is his joke that I'm stealing. Uh, neutral tech is just the charge up for snake up tilt. <laughs> it's true. You oh, cannot tell me I'm wrong. That's insane. <laughs> 
I don't still have that. Anyways, eating a dash attack. Uh, Gak just looking for any way he can to close out the stock, just spacing out some of these back kicks, spacing out these PK fighters. He is playing safe. Yeah, you have to here, but especially since Ness. Oh, missed it. I don't think that was untackable, but he just flat out missed it. But this is an enormous turnaround because not only was that edge guard successful, oh, yeah. but Gakt avoided so much damage on all this damage that you can heal too. Pekka's, Pelka, excuse me, is recognizing a lot of the situations uh, with Greenade. He puts it down and assesses, hey, can I maybe catch a dash in? No, I'm going to toss this off stage just so that you don't have the ability to heal. This is how you have to play Snake. You have to box. You need that one game to adjust. But now you just see Gak exploiting that and taking that lead, and he is stealing it away from Pelka. Yes, slowly but surely, for the, uh, the safe on block, uh, aerial PK fire. Finds that neutral air dodge to get past the PK Thunder, though. F to mm -hmm. 1 2. Just trying to play as ledge trappy as possible without any of those tools, and Gact feels no fear and just scrambling off of ledge. Oh yeah, God bless drag that up there. That thing uh, that does couldn't <laughs> uh, And it does not scale with not uh, percent, so it just is true at all times. But now oh, he puts another C40 down, and you see Gact trying to like anxiously magnet just in case he can steal it because that is so much pressure that is applied. Grenade down. He's looking for an up tilt as well, but landing with a magnet like that is so unsafe. Yeah, restuck onto Pelka, which I don't know if that's even more scary. There it, it was on his foot. So the ledge hang animation from Ness let the two connect and let the sticky transfer. Damn, that was quite the optimization. That was so good. <laughs> I, it was weird how the C4 went from being on Ness's head to on Stake's chest to Ness's body to Snake's foot. And it transfers right there. You can see you could see it. Right here. There it is. There it is. And honestly, like being stuck is terrifying, but when Snake is stuck, it is even more scary because you never know when you're going to get hit by a dash attack, sticky transfers into instant detonation. Yeah, and th that is somebody that has nothing to lose like whatsoever, right? So he's just able to run up to you. He's able to plant it on you and then making it back onto the ledge here. I okay, I'm going to be honest. I did not know who had C4 on them during that last interaction. Maybe neither did Gact. Because when was the last time you were either, like taking a magnifying glass, looking at your character like, model and going, like you did, did I have C4 on me? You can see the transfer. Like, it, it's just right here on his lead foot touching the ledge hang. I wonder if that happened during the two frame or not. I don't know, man, but this... C4 just functions. C4 just defies. <laughs> it just is. It, is. it is like one of the most bizarre moves in the game. Yeah. It has like its own set of physics yep. applied to just that. So going into the next game here, Gak lost his free stock a little bit too early, and it was always just playing from a back foot, but the biggest adaptation that Pelka made, he played with more normals, less specials. He kept it clean. And he's changing up that as well, going still with the no more normals approach. But we saw a couple, uh, a couple extra grenades. We saw an extra utility of C4. But more importantly, we're seeing aerials come out now, rising down air, rising neutral air. These big buttons just to try and contest space. And there it is again. Whoa. But that time around, that was a little bit too early to get the PK Thunder tail. You need the late PK Thunder tail for it to actually confirm it's a PK Thunder two, or as you guys call it, PK Rocket. Um, but all of a sudden, I like PK Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like being like fake elitist. About it, you know? <laughs> okay, fair enough. I can respect that. Uh, you know what else is I find interesting? The PK fire alternate angle when you land yes. on the oh the X fires. They're so cool because the environmental collision box thinks that you're on the ground when you're actually not. So it triggers the grounded one, but then you have the end lag of the aerial one. That is bizarre. But Gekt able to clean up that stock, and now all of a sudden he is starting to deal some serious damage. Putting on some <gasps> oh, the inverse angle, but and he misses the punish. He was still in the air when he crossed up, so he didn't get to the right side of the sticky. That's incredibly unfortunate because that sticky grab back throw detonation, that's a stock. Oh yeah, without a doubt. He lands it with the four uh. but you do need to remember Falling Florida is unsafe on hit. Unlike up air, the multi hits do scale with knockback, so it's not actually true into any follow ups until about 90, 100% character dependent. We just need to see the, that huge nair. I love utility of, of Snake's nair like that, because while you can't spam it like Pally nair, you can use it in similarly applicable ways, and the combo into dash attack for stage control oh, yeah. to boot, even better. 
Yeah, Gak is playing fast right now. He's put, he's pressing a lot of buttons. He's going Work out time. there, but such a good tech. Pelka keeping his head in the game, getting a dash attack off just to get Gak back off stage. But he fights his way back on, and C4 is on the other side, so he has nothing to worry about. Oh, going for the dash attack, it looked like Pelka wasn't ready to react to that move in particular. Dropping shield between hits two and three, and the insanely buffed base knockback of that makes it so devastating at those kill percents. Oh yeah, and gets another back here. He set up a tech chase, but a little bit too late with the jab lock, with the down tilt. But that was a really good idea nonetheless. Setting up this bit of a chase doesn't get the right idea. It's like a one in three guess. Yeah. One in four. The do-nothing also gets hit by the... Yep. Uh, uh, by up till there. Oh, and almost chases him down. Almost gets that early stock off the top. If you Palka, you have to be so careful. Neutral tech up till. I'm, I'm, high level strategy. <laughs> it catches. It catches the best of them. It, it, you really do. <laughs> oh, but getting the whip punish on that dash attack into the instant up throw, trying to hound with more PK, uh, PK Thunder. Okay, quick little neutral out of there, just saying, hey, get off me. One of the best get off me options in the game. Heals up all of that damage as well. Finds the up hill, and Pelka succumbs. And now all of a sudden, Gak is up two to one. Uh, I felt like the game that he lost, I don't want to say that it was a fluke, but that stock one dissipated way too soon. Uh, he played through my back foot this game three, went as anticipated. Yeah, you're just able to stay at minimal percent, and you're forcing in order to oh, then force C4. Snake. Yeah, he Somebody. dropped the C4 twice. Like, you detonate, drop, detonate. Just Because you can't always be just dropping grenades there to uh, prevent approaches from yep. below you. Because who knows when they just do jump magic and you're back where you started. Yep. Oof. So, you know, really good stuff to cact. Uh, not cact. Jesus Christ. Good gacked. stuff to cact, but good stuff to gax in, in, is uh, a little bit more relevant. Dash attack is such a funny move for the Ness because sometimes you throw it out and it works. You, you ever just see Nesses get like dash attack win? Yeah, they can we see like that? Dash attack uh, three times simultaneously. Can we see that dash attack stock real quick? Uh, I think it's too. Well, uh, uh, maybe. It was the second stock, yeah. Okay, well, uh, it's not going to. Yeah. Uh, it's too late for us. Yeah, it's too late for this man. I just wanted to point out how big that hitbox is because, oh boy, that's a big one. <laughs> okay, so potentially Pelka's final game of a winning side here. He needs to take this up to a game five. Gak just saying, hey, keep go ahead, keep throwing out all those grenades. I have absolutely nothing to lose at this point. Yeah, but he has nothing to gain either. He's already yep. at just these really low, per really low percent. So Pelka is saying like, hey, I'm just going to do That's it. That's a shield break setup. That's a potential shield break setup. He was going for something nasty. Because if you hit them, you can actually hit into them with the PK Thunder. If you get the shield break, well, that's a shield break any day of the week. And now looking for the Saifu yet again. Gact is punishing Pelk on these landings. He is bullying him. No, it's stuck. He, the pummels weren't necessary. It, while the C4 is blinking, it cannot oh, yeah. transfer. But he pummeled so long that the blinking stopped and it transferred during the throw. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> okay. Both of them pretty high percent. Since at this point, Snake going to be looking for an up tilt. Ness looking for anything. Uh, especially up smash, so good at ca catching spot dodges against tall characters because by the time the spot dodge concludes, well, the up smash is hitting your head. Yeah, it's so unfortunate because you're already, like, as Pelka, you're just, you don't want to get grabbed. Like, that's yep. the first thing on your mind whenever you hit the red percent. But that up smash covers ex uh, long enough to cover Beautiful. spot dodge. Ness is only safe grounded button on shield. That down tilt and the sweet spot grounded PK fire into the double jump cancel PK fire. This advantage state is nuts. This damage output is nuts. When Ness gets something going, he is unstoppable. Looking for the two frame with down smash there though. And I, I mean, Dar, you're kind of hitting the nail on the head with every single one of these because Gat is just rolling with PSI magnet traps, with shield break and oh, yeah. PK thunder setups. with. PK fire conversions, not that one, but maybe this one. It could be everything oh. is heading up Gak right he now. He was anticipating like the Rekka usage of F-Tilt. He was anticipating, you know, maybe Pelka dropping it sooner. So he dropped his shield and uh, looking for that dash attack. Oh, I smell it. And that's another up smash as well. One of the best tools to catch spot dodge. Yeah, it hits spot dodge. It hits it on tall characters. It lingers forever. It's Vibe but checks and shield. It, it, do, do you know the counterplay for this? You better be ready for it because Gak is going to test all of that Spike. knowledge. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Gak played remarkably that very last stock he played optimally he executed he got his damage and uh sometimes Nesh just kind of overwhelms you yeah 
uh, like I mentioned, like Gak's a fiend. Like he went to three locals in Jersey and New York before heading into this uh, into this bracket. He mm -hmm. goes to so so many events in Japan itself. Like is and is almost always representing within top sixteen, if not top eight or higher. Right. It's so powerful. This up smash is so good because it can catch jumps. It can catch you pressing something that you really shouldn't have. This thing is, is lethal. It is lethal and it hit confirms for you. So yeah. if you don't know if it actually connected, you just wait. You wait for one of the multi hits. You react to that and you're like, oh, okay, maybe this connected now. That, it, it, that move spoon feeds you. Yeah. It's like, it, so right now it seems like the other stream is going crazy. But being able to rock shield as well as being able to cover front and behind, cover spot dodge, you basically have one means of counterplay, which is the whole down angle your shield, wait for the amount of hits for it to uh, for dissipate, the hitbox to and then dissipate. you can jump away, then you can go out, then yeah. you can do something else. Uh, um, barring like individual out of shield options that aren't vulnerable, like Game and Watch, for instance. Yep. And and think about it this way too: 133 percent. Why do you spot dodge shield? What is the classic fundamental option for the mess that you avoid? Grab. Absolutely. <laughs> At the end of the day, the thing is like, oh man, don't get back to him by us. Don't get back to him by us. Well. Alternating in that position between grab and up smash is one of the most devastating mixes in the game. It's one of the most devastating pseudo 50-50s because of just how much lethality, because of how, I'm going to say it, generous they are. They're generous for the They're easy to connect. Yeah, not to mention uh, this combo right here. I mean, it, what it feels like with PK Fire is like PK Fire 1 is yeah. insane, right? But what really is the, fit, the clincher is the second one. Oh, for sure. That's the one that you can actually confirm. That's how you catch jumps, yes, especially uh, Snake Saifu, because it will detonate on Saifu. Yes. But I would actually like to go back to the beginning of this clip, because there's also something else that I would like to highlight. Um, these down tilts. So let's talk about this. So technically, you can down tilt forever, but as there is with all multi-jabs in this game, that's you know, technically down tilt because it cancels into itself, there is a decent amount of pushback so that the game basically doesn't let you yes. uh, combo it into itself infinitely, right? The choice from Gact to then shield at this point is so, so, so good because you get guaranteed damage. At the ledge, you can get upwards of 60%. People usually do what? They usually shield or they mash some sort of a button afterwards because at some point the down tilt becomes unsafe on hit. So get knowing, hey, I know the situation. I'm just going to shield after. I'm going to wait for you to mash out. And then for him to create the situation that would then follow, th I think this was optimal. Especially consider uh, the, the joke I made earlier, it is still prudent where snake up tilt being, me being used as a medium after scrambles is so potent because it's an instantaneous uh, oh, yeah. stock taking option. Something that Gakton had been caught with multiple times over. So by holding block there, especially given the percent he was at, he was able to infer that while the down tilts were connecting and instantly plan out the rest of his game state. Yeah, exactly. If, Ness, if, if Snake, excuse me, wants anything at that point, it is up tilt. That is the thing Absolutely. that will kill. It's up tilt for Snake. Yes. And when it's that close on Ness's shield, Ness's out of shield game basically speaks for itself. So he was able to get the kill, he was able to get the stock, and Gak was able to get that set. Incredible stuff. That's the Gak that we love to see. That's the Gak.